teaching kids to embrace failure, fostering resilience and growth. In today's world, children often face immense pressure to succeed. Whether it's excelling in academics, sports, or other extracurricular activities, the expectation of perfection can become overwhelming. However, one of the most valuable lessons we can teach children is how to embrace failure as a part of learning and personal growth. Failure is an inevitable part of life, and learning how to respond to it positively is essential for building resilience, self-confidence, and a growth mindset. By teaching kids to embrace failure, we are helping them develop the tools they need to navigate life's challenges with perseverance and optimism. Understanding the fear of failure Children, like adults, often fear failure because it is associated with negative feelings such as disappointment, embarrassment, or a sense of inadequacy. From a young age, kids can internalize the idea that making mistakes is something to be avoided at all costs. This fear can be reinforced by societal expectations, academic standards, and even well-meaning parents who emphasize achievement over effort. However, when children are constantly shielded from failure, they miss out on critical opportunities to learn how to cope with setbacks and to view challenges as part of the learning process. To help children overcome the fear of failure, it's important to create an environment that normalizes mistakes as an integral part of learning. This starts with reframing how we talk about and respond to failure. Instead of focusing on the outcome, we should praise the effort, the strategies they tried, and the lessons they learned from the experience. This encourages kids to view failure not as a reflection of their abilities, but as a stepping stone towards success. Building a Growth Mindset One of the most effective ways to teach children to embrace failure is by fostering a growth mindset. Coined by psychologist Carol Dweck, a growth mindset refers to the belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work, dedication, and perseverance. In contrast, a fixed mindset assumes that talent and intelligence are static and cannot be changed. Children with a fixed mindset are more likely to avoid challenges and give up easily, while those with a growth mindset are more resilient in the face of difficulties. Parents and educators can help children develop a growth mindset by emphasizing the value of effort, persistence, and learning from mistakes. For example, instead of saying, you're so smart, which reinforces a fixed mindset, it's more helpful to say, you worked really hard on that problem, and I'm proud of your effort. This shift in language teaches children that their abilities are not set in stone and that they have control over their own progress. In addition, sharing stories of famous individuals who experienced failure before achieving success can inspire children to see failure as a part of the journey. Stories of inventors like Thomas Edison, who famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work, or athletes like Michael Jordan, who was cut from his high school basketball team, illustrate the power of persistence and learning from setbacks. Creating a safe space for failure. Another key aspect of teaching kids to embrace failure is creating an environment where they feel safe to take risks and make mistakes. Children need to know that they are not defined by their failures and that they are supported, no matter the outcome. This can be achieved by encouraging curiosity, experimentation, and a sense of playfulness in learning. For instance, when children are working on a challenging project or trying to learn a new skill, it's important to let them struggle and figure things out on their own without rushing to intervene. This not only builds problem-solving skills, but also teaches them how to manage frustration and setbacks. When they do encounter failure, guiding them through a process of reflection, asking questions like what did you learn, or what would you do differently next time, helps them develop a more constructive relationship with failure. Leading by example. Children are keen observers of the adults around them, and how we handle failure can significantly influence their approach to setbacks. If parents and educators demonstrate a positive attitude toward failure, children are more likely to adopt the same perspective. Modeling resilience, self-compassion, and a willingness to learn from mistakes shows children that failure is not something to be feared but an opportunity for growth. For example, when adults make a mistake, they can acknowledge it openly and discuss what they learned from the experience. This openness not only normalizes failure, but also shows children that even grown-ups are constantly learning and growing. Conclusion 
Teaching kids to embrace failure is one of the most powerful gifts we can give them. By fostering a growth mindset, creating a safe space for risk-taking, and modeling a healthy attitude towards setbacks, we equip children with the tools they need to face life's challenges with resilience and determination. Embracing failure helps children develop self-confidence, problem-solving skills, and a love for learning, setting them on a path toward long-term success and fulfillment. Failure is not the opposite of success, it is a critical part of the journey, 